Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ape and Big Band at MAGFest 2023! And now, to kick things off, put your hands together for the one, the only, Solomon Parker! One, two, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, oh! sun is shining on me it makes me feel so free so alive it makes me want to survive and the sky it makes me feel so high the bad times pass me by I was here was in 2019 
it was the first time I was ever here and I gave a panel on arranging video game music and I felt like I wandered into this amazing mecca of a community that I, to be honest, wasn't, I didn't know it really existed until I started doing this band and I felt like, holy shit, this is it right here. We gotta play here. And it took a pandemic, but we finally made it. So thank you all so, so much for coming. This really means a lot. It feels like this is like a, such a home for video game music, such, a, such an arrival point, such a community, a hotbed, whatever you want to call it. We're here, you're here. It's an incredible thing. Give yourselves a round of applause. So, part of why I wanted to start this band is because I feel like uh, video game music has evolved in the way that uh, M man, much of, you know, a lot of music in the past has evolved like beyond its original purpose into like a collective body of work that we can appreciate as a community and finally like imagine and redo and rearrange and celebrate. It's what this festival represents and um, uh, that's our mission. I hope you feel like we're doing that. We've got a great set for you, some incredible tunes, some classics, some new hits, some reimagines. And oh, you know what? Let's just keep going. Uh, <laughs> I'm very overwhelmed. This is so amazing to see all you here. So, let's keep the party going with one of video game music's most popular, arguably the national anthem of video game music. Oh! <laughs> I always wanted to do that, thank you. This is Bob on Battlefield from Super Mario 64.
Travis Cartoon Network. And make some noise for our drummer, Jared Schoening, back there. We're going to be hearing a lot more from him. Now give me a sec while I hydrate. So this next song is another anthem of video game music, I would say. A very beloved song. And um, those of you who have listened to us know, sometimes we take songs that composers write and we, we run with them all the way in the direction that they sort of wish they could if they had had the technology. Uh, and sometimes we take newer pieces and we rearrange them in old styles and uh, really take a left turn with them. The idea for this arrangement is uh, an example of the latter. It uh, surprisingly came to me in the shower one day. I've, I've never told anyone that before. It's become one of our, our more iconic arrangements, uh, and so this is another favorite of the video game music community. This is Still Alive from Portal 1. This was a triumph I'm making a note here Huge success It's hard to overstate my satisfaction Our future science We do what we must because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead but there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of faith And the science gets done and you make a neat gun For the people who are still alive I'm not even angry, no I'm being so sincere right now even though you broke my heart and killed me And tore me to pieces And threw every piece into a fire Although it burned, it hurt Because I was so happy for you Look at me, update, I make a beautiful life And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time so I'm glad I got going to think of all the things I've learned for the people who are still alive, still alive. Be still talking when there's science is due When I look out there it makes me glad I'm not you I think experiments to run and research to be done On the people who are still alive And believe me I am still alive I feel fantastic and I'm still alive I'm doing science and I'm still alive And when you're dead I will be still alive Still alive, still alive. Still alive. And I'm still alive, baby. Thank you so much. That was still alive by the great Jonathan Colton from Portal One. God, I love that tune. And now moving on, I'd like to, uh... oh yeah, we can do that. You want to do that? Okay. No, it's, it's, we can do, you know, 
do you want to do? Well, let's, let's do you. Fuck it. Yeah, let's go. All right, no, you came up here with such vigor. I don't want to take that away from you. Next. Please welcome Eli Bishop on the violin, everybody. <laughs> That's all right. Eli is uh, going to play an arrangement that I did of, of one of my favorite themes from the Mario franchise. I remember playing this for the first time. This entry is from GameCube. Uh, and I, I just remember this is one of the overworld themes of thinking, man, this melody is so great. I remember when I first played it, I like tried to learn it on guitar. It always really resonated me, uh, with me as a theme. And so um, uh, I, 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 I got my friend Eli here, who's a great violinist and DGM artist, to come here to perform it for you. Uh, this is our take on Delfino Plaza from Super Mario Sunshine.
sorry, they'd like you to ask the crowd to spread out for safety. Spread out? They'd like you to ask them to spread out for safety, please. Okay. I got a note at the crowd, and I love that you're all so awesome and, and so intimate with me right now, but for safety, if you wouldn't mind giving yourself maybe six inches of room with your neighbor, just give yourself a little breath. I'm so thrilled that there's so many people in here that it's a literal fire hazard that we have to stop the show to do this. Nothing thrills me more, honestly. This is such an honor. But please, for everyone's safety, take a breath to your left, take a breath to your right, and your south and your north while you're at it as well. Thank you all. How about a hand for everybody here at MAGFest who makes this happen? Particularly, the audio-visual team does an insanely mammoth task. This is, I, it's like, this must be as difficult, if not more difficult, than launching a shuttle to Mars doing all of this shit. So give them a round of applause, the AV team. Unreal. Moving on, I'd like to feature Another great saxophonist in the video game music world. Give it up for the one, the only, Dave Pollock on the alto sax. Now before we start, I'd like for you to uh, help me settle an age-old debate. <laughs> Wrong notes only. This next song is from the Sonic franchise. It's very contested how you pronounce the name of this song. So we're going to settle this once and for all. Maybe. Make some noise if you think it's pronounced Hydrosity Zone. Make some noise if you think it's pronounced Hydro City Zone. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the debate rages on. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Dave Pollock on Hydro City Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog.
Yes, sir. Incredible, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> I had a real out-of-body moment during that song. I'm surrounded by such an incredibly <laughs> talented group of people up here. Give it up for this band. Sometimes I just have a moment at shows like this, and I think maybe the most show, the most at this show, where I'm like, I cannot believe the culmination of my life has led up to me surrounded by some of the most talented people I've ever met in a room like this full of you fine people playing this incredible video game music that we grew up with. This is insane. God, thank you all so much for coming out. I mean, it really means the world to me that you've been supporting us through the years. We've had a, a fair amount of success with, the, with the people listening and people tuning in and subscribing. And really from the bottom of my heart, it, it makes it all worth it. So to feel your appreciation here this evening is really uh, just an incredible thing. Thank you so much. I love you too. Uh, I'd like to continue on our journey of incredible uh, video game music uh, saxophone players uh, with another friend of mine who is an incredible talent both a player and a ranger. I don't really need to set him up, especially here because you know who he is. Please make some noise for Insane in the Rain. Carlos will be performing a favorite of mine from one of my personal favorites, somewhat more niche uh, RPGs. Um, this is Foresight from Earthbound.
Carlos. Thanks for being here, man. Thanks for everything. Give it up for Jimmy O'Connell on that trombone solo over there. That's right. A sweet solo from Jimmy O'Connell. <laughs> Next, I'd like to feature an, another incredible musician in our ensemble. Um, I'm, I'm constantly in awe of this man's musical intelligence, uh, his ability to break down com complicated musical concepts into a way we can all understand, including simpletons like myself. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one, the only, Adam Neely. I, I wrote this next arrangement with Adam in mind uh, as a bass feature for him, and it requires a second bass player. So I'm gonna fill the role of second bass player for him. Mostly I just wanted to do a bass duet with Adam Neely, so I tried to make it happen. I manifested it for myself, and now here we are at MAGFest doing a bass duet for you. This is uh, Dire Dire Docks from Super Mario 64.
soundtrack that's my favorite game of all time I know I know it's you know that's the first video game I ever had so inevitably it's my favorite shout out your first video game console on three one two three go me too <laughs> that was awesome actually whose first console was n64 make some noise what about PlayStation 1 what about Genesis what about NES what about Atari 2600. Yeah. ColecoVision. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> what about, hey, okay, what about Nintendo Switch? Okay, welcome. Welcome to the world of video games. We love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Uh, I'd like to feature another incredible member of our rhythm section. This guy is, is so amazing. I knew he was amazing from the minute I discovered him on Instagram. I knew we had to work together. Our collaboration led to a Grammy Award, of all things. Please make some noise for Button Masher. I'm so thrilled to have him. We're going to be performing our Grammy Award-winning arrangement of Meta Knight's Revenge.
Give it up for Button Asher. Make some noise one more time for Jared Shoning on the drums. Yo, that arrangement's really hard. This is only the second time we've ever played it live. <laughs> Give it up for these guys. Unbelievable musicianship on this stage. Speaking of unbelievable musicianship, I'd like to bring up another beloved member of our sax section. Please put your hands together to the front. Oh, Jesus. Please put your hands together for the one, the only, Andrew Gould. This is exhausting. You know, when I said a second ago that Super Mario 64 was my favorite OST, I think I lied. Because this song is from my real favorite OST, and that is uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I know. They're both great, but this album really is just so thematic, and it really showed me when I was a kid that video game music could be just a true composing. Thematic, inspiring, character-driven, narrative-driven. It's a film score, truly. This is an incredible soundtrack. Uh, Andrew Gould will be performing an arrangement from our upcoming fourth album, which will be released later this year. Uh, this is Song of Storms from The Legend of Zelda, our great book time.
Yeah, man. Well, y'all, sad to say, we're nearing the end of our set. I know, it's very sad. But it's been so incredible spending time with you all. I hope if you wandered in here going, who is the 8-Bit Big Man? We convinced you to maybe look us up on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, join our Discord, follow us on Instagram. We're gonna be touring a lot in the coming years and maybe we'll come to wherever it is that you came from. We'd like to perform for you wherever it is that you live. Um, and thank you so much. If you don't know, myself and a few other members of the band are gonna be doing some signings over at Rock Island over there. So if that interests you at all, we're gonna be selling some merch. Uh, please, this, this whole thing is a labor of love. These people are the best musicians I've ever worked with and um, the, the best thing you can do to support us in this very moment is uh, buy a t-shirt and say hello to us. So <laughs> if you don't mind doing that, if you want some merch, please, I'd be happy to say hi to you. I love saying hi to fans. Uh, it's incredible to share this mutual love with you. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, we've got a couple more. We've got two more songs for you and um, maybe, a, well, let's, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to that. We've got two more songs for you to round out our set tonight. Uh, and to sing the first one, uh, I'd like to bring out an incredible singer from D.C. who I met recently. Please give it up for the one, the only, Lydia Official, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Make some noise. Make some noise. Woo! Lydia will be performing. This is the only time I've ever had a timpani because there's so many musical instruments around here, so I'm really going to take advantage of that. There we go, that's a C. Anyway, Lydia will be performing in another fa a fan favorite of the video game music songbook. This is Snake Eater from Metal Gear Solid.
Officially it. So this is it, okay? This is our closing number. Thank you all so much. You've been a truly, truly amazing audience. This has been so amazing. To bring us home. Ten more songs? Yeah, nobody's gonna have a problem with that. Yeah, listen, the problem is I don't think we have ten more in these folders right now. We came from New York, came a long way. But there might be one more if you're really, really nice, okay? So no, but in all seriousness, this is our last number. Thank you so much. You've been a truly, truly incredible audience. To bring us home, uh, this is an incredible end theme from another amazing game. Uh, somebody here who works at MAGFest uh, walked down the aisle to this theme, and, and he's right there. It's Dak. Hey, Dak. <laughs> he's the one who brought us here. Give it up one more time for everybody who works at MAGFest to make this a possibility. <laughs> this guy discovered us on Reddit. He's the reason we're here. That's pretty amazing. Anyway, thank you again so much. This is the Super Mario World end credits theme.
much. so much again for coming. Okay, you were really nice. I'll give you one more song. But then that's really it. I hope you have a, a great rest of the festival, rest of your night, rest of your life. Hopefully see you again at other shows. Uh, to bring us home, I'd like to feature the heartbeat of this band, Mr. Jared Schoening on the drums. This is uh, a recent video game classic with a beloved uh, section that you all probably know. This is Dolphin Shoals from Mario Kart 8.
again. Thank you so much. We are the 8-Bit Big Man. Thank you for coming.